Stocks on the move, too. we got to pay some attention to Advanced Micro and Andy Young, uh, one of the most interesting uh, names in the chip space, and uh, dragging a little bit here this morning so far. Now we've seen some mixed earnings in the chip space and it all depends on where these stocks do focus. And so with AMD, it saw the slower growth in PC chip sales, which has really hammered this stock from last night into this morning. So let's take a look at the numbers. Adjusted earnings were actually at a uh, at 60 cents a share. That was above expectations. Revenue was just above the expectations at five point three five billion but that was a nine percent contraction of revenue from the year prior gross margin was at 44 percent and when it comes down to the, the segments data center sales actually increased to 1.3 billion almost from almost the same number so really they were more flat than anything sales in its embedded segment actually was a little bit higher as well a lot higher more than double to 1.5 six billion from five hundred ninety five million dollars year over year the gaming segment now that includes graphics chips for processors for PCs as well as the chips for consoles like for Sony PlayStation right that actually reported 1.76 billion in sales and that was down slightly from the year prior of 1.88 billion and then looking ahead AMD gave weak guidance which is really uh, having investors concerned earlier and right now it's below the Wall Street estimates of five point four eight billion dollars mm. and the sales that they're expecting are five point three billion yeah that midpoint coming in a little bit shy especially when Nvidia has been really the beneficiary of this whole artificial intelligence uh, excitement the fact that AMD here isn't quite getting latched onto that despite having a very similar product mm -hmm. uh, as far as their chips go is uh, kind of interesting that the market uh, not really giving them uh, benefit of the doubt necessarily I mean they sold off the last uh, month too from the high so uh, they even pulled back a little bit should be a, a telling one to watch to see the market's appetite here to mm -hmm. spread some of that love around uh, uh, for chips right now. Right, especially with the mixture in analyst reactions. We yeah. saw analysts cut price targets, they raised them. Yeah, all they, over the place. Um, right, at Craig Hallam, it's uh, an increase of the price target and they yeah, upgraded one. it to a buy, a big increase. Bank of America cut the price target, mm. downgraded it to neutral, and Citibank kept it at neutral. They chose to raise the price target. Raymond James, you can see, cut the price target but kept it at strong buy. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So kind of debate here. Uh, that makes for a fun market, two sides. <laughs> uh, let's talk about a winner here in the healthcare space. Eli Lilly seems to uh, impress and continue to win over fans of its Alzheimer's um, developments. It does, and as we know, Eli Lilly has spent billions of dollars to find an effective Alzheimer's treatment over the years, and they believe they've found one today. Uh, the company shares are rallying on these positive Alzheimer's results, and the latest treatment is showed efficacy, and it showed that it significantly slowed the progression of Alzheimer's disease in the clinical trial. Patients who received this monthly infusion of the drug saw a 35% slower decline in memory, thinking, and their ability to perform regular daily activities. And that was, of course, compared with those who did not receive the drug. They were also 39% less likely to progress to the next stage of the disease. This is pretty significant. We can say that also over the past few months, some of Eli Lilly's competitors have been trying to find an effective Alzheimer's drug as well. Really, they've been trying for years. And we know that a lot of these drug companies have been flushed with cash, since the pandemic, but they don't have that money now because the same entry, the same um, sales are not happening when it comes to COVID-19 drugs. So a lot of them are looking for treatments to be able to replace what went out. And this is one big one that could possibly encourage the competitors of Eli Lilly to find others. Yeah, Eli Lilly really taking uh, uh, the wheel here for the pharma trade. Uh, in a big way. We've got Pfizer down near lows. Mm -hmm. We've got Eli Lilly breaking out. Uh, impressive chart, impressive data. Yeah. Uh, encouraging stuff, exciting stuff too uh, for very insidious disease they're trying to figure out. So an encouraging move here. Appreciate it, Renita. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh.